And if you're struggling to figure out a dessert to make for your loved one this Valentine's Day, NAZ Today's Drew Miller met up with Mark Molinario to teach us how to make a great creme brulee recipe. Check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Drew Miller and I'm here with Mark Molinaro. How you doing Mark? Doing great, thanks for having me. It's good to see that you're here making us happy by uh, teaching us how to make a uh, creme brulee. We're going to make creme brulee. This is uh, in honor of Valentine's Day, so it's a great dish for uh, date night or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a pound and a half of cream. All right. And this is just heavy whipping cream. We're going to add that into a pot and we're going to turn the heat on medium. And to that, we're going to add three ounces of sugar and then a pinch of salt. I would say just go ahead and grab a little, little pinch Liter like that. A literal, literal pinch. pinch. <laughs> All right. Once you get there, you're going to take half a vanilla bean, split it down the middle, and scrape out all the little seeds that are inside. You'll see these hundreds and hundreds of seeds inside there. So we're going to take the pod and the seeds and add them right in there. Kind of just like this, huh? You got it. Both of them, huh? Yes. There we go. Once it comes to a simmer, we will put the lid on it mm. and then turn the heat off and let it steep for about 15 minutes. That is six yolks oh. and one and a half ounces of sugar. All right. Look at how that looks. Next step is going to be you're going to ladle in uh, about half of your liquid mixture into this. So that's called tempering. Um, if we added all the hot liquid in here, it would actually cook the eggs and you have like scrambled egg mixture in here. Once you have the creme brulee base done, the next step is to put it in the thing you're going to serve it with. And that can be almost anything that is oven safe. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use this and take the flame and go over the bubbles and it takes them right away. This is a very important part. We're going to add uh, enough hot water to cover about halfway three quarter up, quarters of the way up. This is very important. This is called a bain-marie get them out of the water and into the refrigerator. These actually need to set for a few hours in the fridge. Creme brulee actually means burned cream. And oh. now we're going to take a torch and uh, put some sugar on top of the creme brulee and burn it. You could certainly serve it just like this, but if you really want to just do a little bit extra and show off, there's some fun things you can garnish this with. Now, I think is the best part. So uh, for NAZ Today, I'm Drew Miller. Ooh.